the dual nature of light and this is really interesting topic has anybody studied this chapter this topic anybody in the class have you studied at least part of it or you know what we are talking about okay abhinaya uh, the good luck for that please yeah work hard you should be able to anybody who has read about this or know at least what we are going to talk about anybody sorry i have a bad throat okay so rukaya what are we going to talk about here what is dual nature like in one line if you can write that so in the meantime i'll start or maybe maybe please look here so a brief history here maybe we have covered it maybe not yeah so ninard says wave nature and particle nature yes good job yeah so most of the not most of the lot of development in physics was done by newton right yes yes Ruka, you're absolutely right what you have written is exactly right so now let's see so newton made a big contribution in the field of physics and obviously other fields mathematics you cannot ignore his calculus invention of calculus big contribution to calculus he was not the only one but he had a major contribution so now newton did a lot of physics and before him prior to this people actually studied light a lot they studied light it's not that he discovered something people did big kind of um, experiments there and try to find things and all that but nobody understood what is light you really need a two three minutes of history in order to understand this completely now this history is also part of your curriculum so you got to listen here so prior to him people studied light did experiments and all that but most of the formal kind of not most of it but newton actually formalized all that summarized everything and and gave new theories and all that so it was still a mystery what is light so newton proposed light is actually particles i don't know how much mechanics you did in the previous class so let's say we take a tennis ball and the tennis ball is moving in this direction it collides with a wall so i'll use some geometry tools here so this is a wall and this is a ball it's not light it's it's a ball tennis ball right and we say okay it is traveling in this direction and it collides here <laughs> So it, it it had a velocity of v, and it had this angle as let's say theta. So this velocity can be written as v cos theta, and this velocity is v sine theta, right? Now when the ball collides here, we are ignoring any friction. So we are saying friction is zero, and we are saying coefficient of restitution is one, as in perfectly elastic collision. So what would happen when when the ball comes back? the ball should have exactly same v sine theta which has not changed because friction is zero and the ball should have exactly same velocity of so velocity of separation should be velocity of approach right now all that geometry gives me that this angle theta got to be this theta this is not physics this is just geometry as of now if these two velocities are same as those two velocities these values values are same this is what newton proposed like this tennis ball goes and obviously there was no tennis those days but but talking of elastic collision so what he is proposing now is light is a particle light has perfectly elastic collision with a mirror so what he is proposing now is this so when light which is he is claiming is a particle the light goes here the light comes back it's an elastic collision and that is why you observe experimentally that incidence angle is reflection angle he is proposing this. He is proposing light is particle. <coughs> and then he is proposing because light is particle, you can also explain refraction, like light slows down when it enters glass and, and so forth. It changes medium. He is able to explain things like reflection, check. I can explain you refraction. I can explain you. So he could explain most of the behavior of light during those days and newton is newton so everybody agrees with him he is giving you reasons experiments and and logic behind that so light is particle it's over okay nobody argues with newton so now comes young's double slit experiment 
and we are going to spend two or three sessions at least two sessions on young's double slit experiment and the consequences now young's double slit experiment shows that light has diff some new behavior that people never knew earlier light does interference and light shows diffraction now this was really strange because two particles never interfere it's only waves that interfere Particles don't have a diffraction pattern only waves have diffraction pattern. So this was really something new now and further studied by other people other scientists led to the fact or led to the the conclusion that light is not a particle That was wrong something wrong. I mean everybody makes mistakes So Newton was wrong here and light is actually a wave Right. So because now when you say wave you're able to explain interference diffraction, but you still got to explain reflection refraction So yes, when you assume it as a wave you can explain reflection you can explain the refraction You can do so many things now you can explain everything now right? So now experimentally you're able to show um, That light is a wave and everybody agrees to that because you are able to show the new phenomenon You're able to explain that but also the old phenomenon Clear so far clear anybody has any doubts okay. But then there was another problem because now you have photoelectric effect so light shows photoelectric effect and Light also has Crompton effect and we will study all these in in next one or two sessions now when you say light is a wave you cannot explain this you cannot explain this there's no way you can explain them they behave ulta like like you know this is how waves behave you list down it should behave like this 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 and when you do the experiment it is completely opposite of what you would say so nobody was able to explain this and people said okay maybe we, we are making experimental um, uh, errors or we don't have those kind of equipments we need somebody down the line will be able to explain this Right? So nobody was able to explain it then came Einstein Okay, Einstein said light is both so you're saying particle So Einstein is saying it is particle and it is also a wave It's not like like it's either of them. It's both of them at all the times It's not like it's it's particle now wave now it is both at the at every point of time It might behave particle like at some time we behave wave like at some time and this is what he proposed and it is the dual nature of radiations Now you got to understand this is a huge in in uh, new in uh, invention you would say Einstein received Nobel Prize for this He is not discovering photoelectric effect. He is explaining photoelectric effect He got Nobel Prize to explain photoelectric effect it is such a huge kind of New thingy that you find because it has big implications now Does everybody understand? Now when the Nobel Prize was given it was clearly mentioned the other work that you're doing which was special theory of relativity It is just a fiction. It is a story. We don't believe in that So we are not honoring you for special theory of relativity. It is nonsense to them So we are honoring you to explain photoelectric effect whatever other you're doing. It's just a piece of fiction It's a story. We don't even recognize that But down the line it is as important as as this thing Okay, I'm giving 30 seconds to everybody to either note down or ask me any question And now we will study photons after this 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 history you got to understand and then you understand dual nature more <coughs> Any questions any doubts any confusions any repetition needed Everybody say uh, understood. Yes or understood. No, please so that I know you are listening at least So then then let's let's continue from here and then we'll, we'll move on and let's see we'll go through these slides these slides are really good Quantum theory of light. What does everybody understand quantization now? We have covered in electrostatics also does everybody understand what is quantization? If not, just say no, I will not take your name. 
right so what we are proposing now the energy is quantized because energy is after all this photon and photon is h times frequency so you cannot say i will have 1.1 times hf give me this much of energy i cannot give it to you i can either give one photon or i can give you two photons you have this much of energy i can give you 1 million photons and you have this much of energy i cannot give you 98.65 photons it's it's not possible so energy is quantized in packets right it's not continuous <laughs> Okay, so so Planck proposed that the energy is quantized. Yeah, yeah, Abhinaya is so smart now. She says you gave the example of banana. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for remembering that. So like when you go to buy bananas, you can buy one banana, two banana, three banana, a million bananas. You cannot buy 3.5 bananas. The person is not going to give you half banana. Right? I mean, obviously you can do that, but that's I, I'm giving you in the macro world, but you can still do that, right? But, but then, then the point is, in the case of photons, you cannot chop off photon. Give me half photon. That's not possible, right? So energy is quantized here, and this is this is given by Planck's constant times the frequency. Now I would like to give you another uh, brief introduction to a little history. You really got to know this if you're studying this. Now Einstein is is one of the pioneers in quantum theory pioneers as in he is the one who is starting all this because he is saying light is a particle right so he is saying light energy is quantized isn't that what he means now when when later on his work was taken and quantum physics on quantum i really misspell when i'm writing things and speaking at the same time so when quantum physics was developed or quantum theory was developed he disapproved of it he didn't like it actually he said this doesn't make sense to me so he's starting all this but when the development happens he disapproved he said no this is nonsense i don't agree with that so this is where einstein was wrong so I'm just trying to say that these these big brains can also go wrong. Einstein was wrong here. He disapproved. He said, whatever quantum work you're doing, physics, that, that's not reality. But now we know that is reality. So Einstein was also wrong here. Right? So you've got to understand everybody makes a mistake. <coughs> now, energy of photons. So we have already covered this. So each photon has H times the frequency. Okay. Or uh, I don't like this symbol, so I'd say H times F, right? Or you can also write it in terms of frequency is speed of light divided by the wavelength. So you can have this. If you know the wavelength, you know the energy or H times the frequency. Okay. And that is why the high frequency, like the blue light, has more energy than uh, red light, or ultraviolet has more energy because it's more frequency, less of the wavelength this you don't have to memorize but I'm, I'm guaranteeing you will you will be able you will recall it once you do a few questions these numbers will be given to you okay so everybody clear no no mist no confusions there Okay, clear. If it's clear, let's move on. Find the energy of photon having wavelength of this. Okay, we'll do it together. There's nothing much to do. So energy is given by h times frequency, or here the wavelength is given. You can see by lambda. Now this is 6.626 times 10 to the power minus 34. Okay, times. Uh, what times the velocity of light this is 10 to power 8 divided by 5000 but that's angstroms so angstrom is 10 to the power uh, minus 10 and that is all and this division is so easy because you're dividing by 5 right so multiply by 3 divide by 5 that's all and and joules and this is joules Okay. Now you can always divide this number by 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 and spec specify that in electron volts if required. 
usually it is expressed in electron volts because in joules bahut choti value aa jayegi it's it's tiny little number not to be it, it's not like you can't understand so usually you divide that and give it in in electron volts dekho itna chhota sa number hai it's it's so tiny but if you divide by 1.6 times 10 to power minus 19 ye kat gaya right so you're getting roughly like oh, 2.8 or something right 2.4 <coughs> electron volts so you, you can understand that more clear so let's see some of the properties of photons a source of radiation emits energy in the in the form of photons and these photons travel in straight line with speed of light i mean they got to travel with speed of light because that is light Okay. now one disclaimer here i i really sidetrack a little when i'm teaching je and neat batches because even though we, this is not in syllabus but 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 sometimes that helps so this actually is from our perspective and if you're getting confused don't listen to what i'm saying so this is from our perspective i'm saying this is photon and it is traveling with 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second theek okay. hai this is what we we say but if you look at the photon's perspective this person let's say this is a human being photon has conscious right let's say so photon is actually omnipresent it's present everywhere it doesn't even travel so photon is here and at the same time it is here it is here it is here it is here the same photon is everywhere if you look at the theory of special theory of relativity it is going to be everywhere it is omnipresent for it the world is flat there is no distance at all for it the distance is zero for it there is no concept of traveling at all so these are the things you will study when you study a theory of relativity but when we are saying this travels with speed of light this is from my perspective photon has a different view of the world not right so please read this please read this anything that is not clear out of these three points let me know Anything that is not clear, please. <laughs> 